Now this is what I call castle and roses. Sun shining, nature, frozen ice. Beautiful scenery. Sitting in my deck chair. I don't do this every day. But on a day like this, you've just got to make the most of it, you know? It's not often we see that sun, is it? It is like a summer's day today, but not as warm. In fact, the temperature is about minus one, minus two at the moment. It could be a little bit warmer with that sun, but there's plenty of ice on the canal. And it was minus six this morning, first thing. It's so beautiful to feel that warmth of the sun on your face. Living on an Arab boat, you need to be topping up your water, you need to be replacing your gas bottles, you need to get all these supplies to your boat. And if you're like me, a continuous cruiser, um, sometimes you're moored out the way. And if you're stuck in ice, you know, it's, it's very difficult to get them supplies to you. I'm quite content uh, and so used to it, just trailing in the mud, in the snow, in the rain, with my little trolley down the canal towpath to collect my coal, to collect my gas bottles, like I ran out of gas the other day. Oh dear. And it always seems to run out the gas on an evening when you're cooking or late at night and, uh, and, it, and it's snowing and thunderstorm outside or something like that. You've just got to get on with it. You've just got to do it. I left it until the next morning. It was quite a cold morning and there was a bit of snow and there was mud mixed in with the snow. And, um, but it's enjoyable. Even though I'm having to traipse up and down and up and down steps, um, it's enjoyable because of all this beauty that, you, you know, like I'm sat here enjoying all this beautiful scenery and nature. I'm gonna leave you now with a little clip of me up and down the canal towpath and visiting Bailey's Trading Post in Poynton.
Sorry to interrupt. And it is me. I've just had a shave. I'm just doing the editing for this episode. And I thought, I've missed something out here. Because after I'd done all the filming, we had some light dusting of snow on top of the ice on the canal. And I was outside just checking, because it was windy, like it is now outside. I was checking to see if anything had blown off the boat. And I saw the barge pole, and I thought, hmm. And I saw the barge pole as a paintbrush. So that's what I did. I decided to go and paint on the white canvas, the canal, and do a little drawing or doodling, shall we call it. Enjoy. I just love getting this deck chair out and, and sitting here on the towpath. If it's not too busy, that is. Luckily here, just on this section, it's very, very quiet. If anybody comes, I'll move out of the way with it being locked down and, uh, and social distancing. Just down there, we've got the robin. the birds I can see them all coming out and feeding looking for seeds Ooh. that's a great idea let's feed them I've got this little bag here that I keep all my seeds in so I'll just spread a few seeds and the birds will come out It's nice to have the deck chair on the towpath and enjoying that lovely scenery but when you get elevated and you're on the roof the scenery is even better. This is a great place for watching the clouds floating by. There's plenty of clouds and, and just over there there's a funny shaped one. It's got a nose, I can see the front of it. And he's heading in the right direction, some kind of animal. I look forward to more days like this. Lots of lovely sunshine and spring isn't far away. We're gonna have some more rainy days. We're gonna have some more snow. We're gonna have freezing temperatures. We're gonna have windy weather, but there is this to look forward to. We will see this again. Thank you for joining me on Narrowboat Isness. Do come back, please subscribe. It's a way of supporting me. Click the like button. I'll see you back very soon.